thank you very much. I'm really happy to uh, present to you the most recent uh, uh, surveys, but uh, I will uh, first uh, move uh, one step back. I had a chance to meet uh, some of you to tell you about the results of a survey uh, concerning the uh, teenagers uh, on the internet, and this was a survey uh, ordered by uh, Minister Mihalak, the um, children um, ombudsman. And um, uh, the, the survey was necessary for uh, programming and developing materials, and uh, that's why we decided to continue the project. And this year, we started a pilot study among the second form uh, students uh, of uh, mid schools and uh, uh, third level schools. And uh, I would like to um, tell you about the survey. I understand we'll be able to show the following slides. So I will start by saying that the survey was uh, so much interesting that we decided to uh, widen the scope. Uh, it's not just about what uh, they use and how they use the internet, but also uh, whether they take care of their privacy, how they move around the internet, how they find uh, different harmful, potentially harmful materials. But it was equally important for us uh, uh, the, the self-learning element. And today, I'm going to present just a few selected, but uh, I think important pieces of information. So I think you'll stay with me till the end of the presentation, though I remember that we are just before lunch. And you also uh, be able to read the full report on our website. That survey, to a certain extent, uh, is uh, overlapping uh, the results of uh, our partners in uh, favor internet. Uh, over 70 percent is online uh, constantly. Look at this very, very small uh, percentage of people who declare they never use internet. And every fourth of them uses uh, internet uh, in public spaces, whether they find uh, public uh, Wi-Fi. It is an important aspect uh, related to uh, safety, security of passwords, security of uh, the device, the privacy. And um, we, ca we, we had a chance to hear about the um, equipment. The most uh, popular um, tools are smartphones and laptops. What is leaving? It's the PC. Half of the young uh, people, when they uh, go online, they never use uh, um, a PC. Where is it uh, used most frequently? At school. At home, it is used uh, for gaming because of the technical parameters. Similarly, uh, people do not uh, use internet using uh, a tablet or, um, or game consoles. And now we have the uh, pyramid. This is not a complete one. It's the information from young people, what is important for them, why they use the internet. First of all, access to uh, movies and uh, music, access to um, uh, browsers. This is uh, important for education, access to knowledge, access to information. And I think that this um, result uh, have been presented several times. How many hours people spend on the internet? It's three hours daily. Is it a lot? Well, on one hand, it's a lot. Uh, 
But on the other, if you look at the internet, not just as a threat, but also as a mm, opportunity, young people use internet both for uh, contacting people, for uh, for looking at uh, social uh, networks, but. Uh, Uh, see how many of them uh, read in order to learn something, not just uh, because of homework, but in a much broader uh, context of developing their interests or uh, searching for information. We've uh, discussed uh, communication already, how young people communicate. And the network provides this uh, opportunity of quick communication. And uh, if we speak of young people, 70% of them uh, sever several times a day communicate with uh, their peers, friends. And uh, how does it look in case of a, of a teacher? Half of uh, young people uh, say that, no, this is not a form of communication with my teacher. And only every third of them uh, said that it's only like three times a year. And then we should ask a question, why young people are ready and have skills to communicate? On the other hand, we have tools. And then there is the question, why? What is the reason that uh, there is no communication. Are there any special terms that should be uh, fulfilled for the communication to go on? Or maybe this communication is not useful at all. Uh, uh, would it support the educational process? I don't know, but uh, I think these questions would be very good uh, uh, starting point for a debate, and I will move on. So how internet is used uh, in class? So we hear from young people that they use uh, internet uh, during uh, the uh, computer class. Another information is a bit surprising. Uh, the, uh, most frequently, internet new media are uh, used uh, at uh, uh, language lessons, uh, nature. And how young people learn, they uh, look for sources, they visit uh, websites and uh, Uh, services, their most uh, popular uh, browsers. 60% of uh, uh, students of meet uh, and secondary schools, uh, uh, 60% of them use uh, the internet for education, so they use Google browser. But at the same time, 20% say they never check the sources and reliability of the information. Uh, that's why they uh, visit uh, uh, Wikipedia uh, several times a week. And let's stop for a moment of uh, an extremely interesting question. Which website, which service would you recommend to your friend for learning? And here uh, the list of proposals was uh, quite long. In most cases, uh, these were uh, websites uh, offering uh, tailored uh, ready-made uh, content. In 30% uh, percent, there was no response at all. We could stop for a second here and uh, mm, assume why there was no response at all because uh, maybe people would, do not like to feel the open questions, or they do not want to write, or they do not know what to write. Uh, we don't know w the answers, uh, uh, but as I said at the beginning, we were, are going to develop the uh, project uh, and deepen the project. We uh, have a lot of uh, responses. When, how much, uh, and how. But we frequently would like to know why our privacy. 
I think that uh, here we may be on one hand happy, on the other worried. Um, almost 60% declare I protect my privacy because I want to protect myself, my data, my privacy. But at the same time, almost 20 say uh, I don't see any need to protect privacy. And protection of privacy or showing certain elements of their life uh, or activities uh, is uh, seen differently than by us, uh, the adults. What is also important here is that we could uh, adopt a thesis that young people know how to do it. They, uh, I'm talking about uh, mid and uh, secondary school uh, students. Uh, they know how to set the uh, the privacy settings. So now let's move to um, knowledge, knowledge about uh, the students and uh, activities. They are aware, more than 80% of them uh, say, I know that it happens to me that I uh, spent uh, much longer on the internet uh, than I planned, originally planned. They also admit that um, one third of them uh, resign from school uh, duties uh, for for staying on the internet. A good a good result is the last one. Only very few of them resign from uh, meetings uh, friends in real life. Uh, this shows that virtual uh, contacts. Uh, uh, are important, but uh, real contacts uh, remain important from for young people. And here I'm showing the comparison between uh, the same question asked in 2014 and currently, which shows a progress. When we asked about uh, risky mm, behaviors, have you met an unknown, a stranger? Uh, met on the internet, uh, you see that this percentage gone up. Uh, uh, although here the, the, the answer is no. And uh, among people declaring that they've uh, met such a person, we have a, a higher a percentage of people who do not inform anyone about this, uh, mm, uh, neither parents nor their peers. Uh, this was uh, much more frequent in the previous uh, research. And now I think we are approaching the end of this uh, uh, presentation. I got the information uh, to come to the close. And I think that uh, this survey is a good indicator that the Internet is important for young people, but uh, allows uh, a youngster to um, to maintain uh, his own opinion, to uh, keep his um, friends and parents and their opinions as important. And we asked uh, um, about uh, uh, we we asked this question to YouTubers, and uh, because we frequently hear that YouTubers uh, encourage people to do certain things, and I think uh, this is uh, a very warming uh, set of results for educators. Here, young people declare they disagree with the fact that uh, persons uh, whom they contact just uh, via the internet uh, are uh, are important or more important. Uh, uh, people with whom I contact uh, just uh, on the internet are smarter than uh, teachers. Almost 90% of them responded that this is definitely a false statement. So. Coming to an end of this uh, presentation, I would like to refer to the words of the uh, panel. I listened to all the uh, panelists with uh, attention because uh, they were to a certain degree representing my opinion. 
uh, that we should uh, create a friendly and safe uh, internet. For that, we need awareness, uh, not just of uh, risks and threats, but first of all, of uh, opportunities or challenges. And uh, a multi-aspect education based on a dialogue between generations and uh, within a single generation. And finally, uh, the uh, awareness that uh, technical competences are important, while social competences allow us to understand, act, and move forward in a secure manner. <laughs>